G'day Bronwyn. We're talking about flexible learning. <laughs> so maybe um, you could just give us what, what in a in a couple of words, in you know, like 20 seconds or so, what is flexible learning to you, and give us a scenario of uh, that includes how it is for you and possibly for students coming to the Polytech. Yeah, flexible learning to me um, means any place, any time, anyhow, um, meaning that we're actually meeting the students' needs. So if they can't come in because they're working, then they may be able to access flexible courses, you know, on the internet. Mm. Um, they may prefer to study with a book and a CD-ROM. So, I mean, basically, I'm open to anything. Unfortunately, economics don't allow anything. Mm, mm. Um, so we have to find solutions that both meet the students' needs and, you know, fit in with the strategy for the institution. On that point of economics, what do you say to people who um, who suspect that the de development of flexible delivery is um, a way to save money in, in course delivery? Uh, I think that's a real worry because if you're facilitating flexible learning um, well, it's actually probably taking you more time than it would if you're just going and standing in front of a lecture theatre. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's quite a lot of creativity involved too in developing resources okay. and activities. So, so if, if that's right, if it does potentially take more time to, to um, be a teacher and student by flexible delivery, then why would we be doing it? Uh, you've already stated the points that um, it, gives, it gives students and teachers, I suppose, flexibility. What, in real terms, pragmatic terms, what does that mean? What would that look like, that flexibility? Flexibility, to me, means that the students pick what they want to learn, um, where they want to learn it, and how they want to learn it. Unfortunately, we can't offer them every option, um, but I think we're moving in that direction. We were actually saying we're here to service the students and you know, give them what they want, mm -hmm. whereas it's always been, you know, here you are, students come to us. Mm, mm. I think we're reaching out more now and you know, trying to fit in with, with them. Mm. Does this necessarily mean the dissolvement of classrooms and lectures? Or no, I don't think so, because a lot of people still like that. They like coming in, they like sitting in front of a lecture. Mm. I think it's what you do afterwards. Um, you can do that flexibly as well, mm. which can add to it or enhance. Mm. Um, and you can, in some cases, do away with face-to-face. -face. In your experience, a teacher who's not experienced with this bef um, as a student or a teacher before, what are the initial barriers that they're going to face and how long, should, what sort of time frame should they plan before they can get any form of uh, course or, or program up online for flex, or not even just online, but in some form of flexible delivery? I think they need to think carefully about the design phase. Um, what is it they want to do with their their content and their assessment, you know, to offer it flexibly? What technology is going to support that? Um, yeah, what are their students actually going to be able to use? I mean, if they're living up out in the hicks and they haven't got electricity, mm. it's no good putting your stuff on the internet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you've got to think of other options. Yeah. So, all the time looking to that. And what do you hope your role in the development of a flexible program um, would be? What sort of role would um, you play? I think getting staff to see that there's a whole maze of stuff out there that you've got to wade through a wee bit, find your way through. But, you know, the options are endless. You can be as creative as you like. Just, mm. you know, if you think, if you win lotto, what would you do with flexible learning? sort of attitude, mm. you know, rather than always trying to fit it into a wee box, mm. would mm. be great. Um, yeah. yeah. I certainly find that creativity aspect the most rewarding mm. part of it, and mm. I guess some teachers would too. I think we've gone over at 20 seconds, eh? Oh, okay, that's my <laughs> shut-up call, so we'll put <laughs> upload this and see how it goes. Thanks, Bronwyn. <laughs> oh, uh, your name and where, where can we oh, contact yeah, you? Oh, yeah, Bronwyn Higgety at Otago Polytechnic. Okay, so thanks.